Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce the built-in simulator function of T12D transmitter. T12D comes with built-in simulator function, which means you can play simulator just by using a top C cable to connect T12D to the computer. Built-in simulator function is for open source simulators such as TRYP FPV, Airfly, Uncrashed, Liftoff, FPV Logic, Velocidrome, and so on. Both Windows and Mac computer can be used. But for traditional simulators like Phoenix, you still need a dongle to connect T2D to the computer. And here are the steps to use the built-in simulator function of T2D. First, please update the firmware of T2D to version 1.7.1 or above. You can download the latest firmware of T2D on Redlink official website and check the tutorial on how to update the firmware here. Enter main menu. Transmitter settings. About. We can see the firmware version of this T12D is version 1.7.1, which means it supports built-in simulator function. Second, connect T12D to the computer. Here is the Type-C cable that comes with T12D. Connect one end to the Type-C port of T12D. Here it is. And click the other end to the computer. And the Type-C cable can also supply power to the transmitter and power on T12D. Third, play simulator on the computer. The using methods are similar for all simulator software. We use OnCrash the simulator as an example. It has already been installed on my computer. Here it is. Open it. You can download the simulator software online. And click Options. Move the stick. There is movement of the bars, and here is Unlawn TD joystick, which means the transmitter is recognized. And the stick mode of this T12D is Mode 2, so I need to select Mode 2 here. And then we need to calibrate the transmitter. Click Auto to calibrate each stick, then follow the instructions to move the stick. Click Auto. Move throttle stick. Roll, pitch, yaw. And pay attention, if the movement of the stick is opposite to the bar movement here, please click Invert here to correct the movement of the stick. And after that, click Stick Calibration. Center all the sticks and press OK. And move all the sticks. We can see the slow movements are correct, which means the calibration is down. And by the way, here is reset. I can assign a switch to restore the drone to the original flight condition when there is a crash. I click Auto. And push switch A up and down. It is recognized that I can use switch A to reset the drone. For flight modes, I can assign a three-position switch to change the flight modes and click Auto and push switch C up and down. It is recognized, then I can use switch C to switch the flight modes. And there are some other certain menus, such as graphics, gameplay audio, race, drone settings. You can set them according to your needs. Now let's play it. Single player. You can choose the thing you like, such as Arctic Island. And wait for the loading. Push the throttle down to the lowest position. Then you can push up the throttle to fly it. And the other flight, you can push switch C to change the flight modes. Here it is. Acro, Angle, and 3D. When there is a crash, you can push switch A to restore the drone. So that's all about the built-in simulator function of T12D transmitter.